What's up, Mother What's up? My name is Joshua, and thank you guys for tuning in to an exciting episode of Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Previously, we were about to go to the Greybeards and learn some history about shouting and how to deal with dragons. And today, well, actually, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different right now. So, I hate, uh, so right now I hate the Stormcloaks because they're all racist, and there actually is a group of them down here. I was just walking around enjoying mind my own business when I saw, oh look, there's some storm cloaks here. Let's go kill them. So I'm gonna see how that goes. So their little camps. Ah, what? Right now? Sure, I guess. It's they live by like it's not even. I know. All right, I'll do it in just a bit. Okay. How many? I don't. I don't know. Just when I finish this. I don't know how long this will be. Well, like 15 minutes. Alright, so apparently I have to end the episode in 15 minutes. But that's okay, because that's how long my episodes are. Anyways. Alright, so... They also got a nice looking horse here, too. I like this horse. Hmm. Let me see. I'm actually going to save it right here. Because... I believe that the horses will target me if I fight them so hello are you a storm cloak yes you're dead now die uh, freak all right i'm gonna summon my conjure my familiar right now looks like looks like we're gonna have some fun right now fighting off these enemies here die you freaks uh. oh crap i'm being hit hold up hold up hold up there we go. Where the horses go? Ah, oh, crap. <clears throat> yeah, I ain't like that. Oh no! Slowly dead. Freak. Alright, let me see. Anyone else want this? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, that's how we roll, buddy. Yeah, how do you like that? <clears throat> Stay dead. Hey, look, there's another enemy over here. Nope, he's not dead yet. Why aren't you dead? No, he's not dead. For some reason. Weird. I don't know why. Alright, well, I'm gonna go look for those horses. Where did they go? Hello, horsey. Hello. He's not dead yet. Why doesn't he die? Hmm, weird. I don't know why. But I'm gonna go look for those horses. See you all in a bit. Sadly, I could not be, I was not able to steal the horse without it saying it was stolen. So I guess killing all these storm cloaks was actually worth my time and it was pretty fun killing them all. But this guy does not want to die, apparently. He doesn't really like me either. Where is he? Yeah, whatever. He's gonna probably shoot me with an arrow or something. Hey, there he is. Hey, buddy. I don't get it. Why was this guy like a like a main character or something in the in the game or, or whatever? I don't really know, but I suppose he is. So, you know, whatever. I'll just let him just walk walk around and stuff. But I'll take whatever these guys got. Hmm. But that's pretty awesome, though. Maybe if I <laughs> maybe if I go raid some more. Uh, what's it called? If I raid more storm cloaks. Maybe I'll be able to get more, <laughs> just have more fun, you know what I mean? But I think that's enough fun for now. So I'm going to go back up into the High Hrothgar. Oh, wait. I can't do it with enemies nearby. So I'll have to steal this horse, sadly. Don't worry, this isn't the horse that I, that I have. But because there's enemies nearby, technically, I can't really, um, you know, what's it called? Really get there faster. Alright, there we go. Hi, Hrothgar, here we come. Most dogs in Skyrim are domesticated and faithful to their Nord to their Nord masters. Oh, okay, but they're not they're not faithful to me. But this is my horse, my awesome horse. Alright, we've had enough fun, so let's go upstairs and wait, what's in here though? Is there anything up here? No, nah, there's nothing. I don't think I should take that. There's no real need to take it anyways. I will take the dragon tongue though. Alright, let's see what the Nord, or what these guys have to say. Well, I could go into that door, but I don't think it really matters. 
There's two doors. I can take one or the other. <sighs> Man, that was fun. Let's see, 26, actually. Let me see. What should I raise? Uh, I'm feeling more stamina. I always raise stamina a lot. I've raised stamina so much. Alright, let's go. So I need to go over here. Let me see, can I take this stuff? Yep, I can without being in trouble. Hey, buddy. Sky above, voice within. I'm here to learn the shout used to defeat Aldim. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Hmm, does it matter? Yes. For matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand. Or who you stand with. Hmm. Who I stand with is my business. Um, I have nothing to hide. The blades have helped me out. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? The Blades want to defeat Aldum, don't you? What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. So you won't help me? No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. What the? Forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. Hmm. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. So can you teach me the shout? No. I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. Um, what's so bad about Dragonrend? It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. How can I defeat Alduin? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. Who is Palthrax? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. I need to speak to him. You weren't ready. You still aren't ready. But, thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. <laughs> Why haven't I met him? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great... <laughs> if you notice, that guy just totally stole, stole his chair. <laughs> How do I get to him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. All right then. Cool. Wolfgar just totally stole his seat. <laughs> that was pretty awesome though. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna have to be following these guys and learn a new shout. Apparently it teaches me to find the way to Parthrax. I believe that's his name. I've been trying to pay attention. I'll take the lavender. 
Hmm. What if I could put this on his head? Hold on. Wait. No, 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 damn it. Oh, come on. Move it. Move. I want to get the basket. Move it. Move. There we go. Got the basket. Wait, is there... Oh, there's no hole in it. Oh, bummer. Oh, well. Oh. Oh, look at that. You gotta go into here. Do, 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 do. We're out in the cold again. Oh, look. We've been here before. Just tell me, or I will cut you with my axe. No. It's not cool. Why does everyone walk so slow? And in unison. It's kind of bothering. <sighs> oh well. Looks like this fire is going to be where we're going to be performing the ritual or something. Yep, here they come. They're all starting to spread out. Uh, I guess this is the path or something, I guess. Oh, that's why. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. I think I know why I can't go up there yet. <laughs> All right. Oh, cool. We got restoration up to 70, 20, or 37. Yeah. Here we go. I'm here. Follow me. I will show you how to open the path to Parthenhex. I'd like to learn. No, um... Let me see. All right, I think I'm done. Sky above. Voice within. Where do I talk to him? Or where? Let me see. Lock. Here it is. New dragon shout, everybody. We must learn another one. Clear skies. What does this one do? Spring clear skies. I will grant you clear my skies. understanding of clear skies. Really? This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. All right then. So let me see here. Let me go to my shouts here. Clear skies, sky, spring, and summer. Skyrim yields itself to the thum as you clear away fog and inclement weather. Well, that's okay because I've killed plenty of dragons, so I can get all of them. Ba bum, ba bum, bum. So yes, we got all of them. So, clear skies. Here we go. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. All right, then. So, looks like we're here. Here we go. Alright, well, I stumbled when I did it. Alright, cool. Looks like we're on our way to Parthorax. Up the mountain. Oh, yes. It's gonna be fun. So it's kind of blowy, gusting windiness. Whoa, I can't see it for a little, for a bit there. I don't know why I took damage. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Look. That's why. Ooh, goat. Must kill the goat. Must kill the goat. Must kill the goat. Die! Give me! Give me your... No, I want your leather. Grr. Why did not? Why you no give me my leather? Look! There we go. So I guess I gotta, gotta be constantly yelling at the... Whoa! Oh, this stupid ice ray thing. Yeah, you don't stand a chance against me, buddy. I'll take that. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> oh, whoa. Come on! Here we go. Clearing up the skies. Very nice. Maybe I don't really have to shout too loud. I can just... Just yell at the sky and there we go. Oh, another ice ray. How fun. Another stupid one. Just, why did... What are you? Why do you come here? Why are you here? I'll take that. Thank you. Look! Look! Rota! Wait, what is it? Hold on, let me see. 
So, spring fire. Hmm. Hold on, let me see, listen what he says. Look, Blago. Look, Blago. It's not Dus Roda. Look, Rado. Or something like that. Huh, that's kind of weird. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to study the, or learn the ways of the Dragonborn. Yeah, I killed the goat. Do you have your hide? Yes, I want that. Thank you. Thank you for your <laughs> your death is not in vain. So I gotta go all the way up here. I actually go over here, so I have to climb around this mountain here. All right, here we go. Well, another ice raid. Jeez, these guys are relentless and just come after me all the time. Thank goodness I have a uh, <laughs> powerful axe for me. Just clear up the sky just a little bit more. Just so I can see much more. Oh, look, there we go. Look right there. Isn't the dragon language so freaking awesome? It's just epic. That's how awesome this thing is. Hmm. Oh, what else is around here? I don't think there's anything anything specific that I really need up here. Look! I wonder if there's any ores around here I can take. But then again, I really want to. I really want to listen to the graybeards and what they really want. All right, so it looks like I'm here. It says I need to go that way, or around the summit. I think. Let me see. No, I believe I have to go this way, and up there. Yeah, I believe so. Nothing else in of the or out of the ordinary here. Just a lot of traveling here. Whoa, that's pretty scary here. Look, here we go. I did it. Whoa, I stumble. I stumble, but I did it. <laughs> All right, looks like we reached the peak. The throat of the world discovered. And I believe I reached it. Hey, what's this? Hello? What the? Whoa! Dragon! 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 Okay, okay. <laughs> dragon, dragon. Very scary dragon. Whoa! This guy came out of nowhere. Save! I don't I do not want to ascend from that mountain again. Hello? Drem Yolok. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. <laughs> a talking dragon. Who are you? What brings you to my Strulmach, my mountain? Strulmach. Remember that. Mountain. Strulmach. I was not expecting a dragon. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovakin. Dovakin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to learn the Dragon Ren Shout. Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. The word calls you. Go to it. Alright then. Looks like we're gonna learn the word. Have it come into me. Alright, looks like we learned a new dragon shout. Ooh, and he's giving it to me. Give me your power. Alright, let's go to my shout. Where is it? Become eternal. No, I didn't learn it yet. I don't think. Alright. Show me what you can do. Greet me not as orc, but as Dova. Use fire breath shout. Alright, where's my shout? Fire breath. Ooh, it even got better. Inferno. Nice. All right then. You asked for it. Yo. Ah, yes. Sosedo Vlostmul. 
The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. I'm a dragon. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dovah's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Can you teach me the dragon wrench shout? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Mm, let me see. I actually think this episode's been gone long enough. Uh, I, I know. You would not come all this way for tea. I know, but I need to pause it. There we go. So, anyways, guys, uh, thank you all for watching. If you liked the episode, please thumbs up the episode. If you have friends, they will be able to see. If they see it, they can like and subscribe. And if they subscribe, we got more sexy subscribers. And the more sexy subscribers we get, well, the more times random dragons will be able to talk to us. And we will be able to be freaked out. This guy's pretty scary. So, again, guys. Thank you all for watching. You all have a good day, and I'll see you all next episode. Talking to this weird dragon. See you all later. Peace out and freak out. Bye.